Hey everyone, it's Jessica and I want to do a quick video supporting the GOAT Simone Biles. There's been a lot of talk about the Tokyo Olympics where Simone dropped out a few days ago, although apparently she's going to compete tomorrow morning, but I'll get to that later. Overwhelmingly, Simone has gotten support. She said she's putting mental health first and taking care of her mental health. But there's been a few notable voices on the internet who've called her a quitter. This is the most award-winning gymnast of all time. And what's interesting is a lot of these people who are calling her a quitter, when, you know, when we have a celebrity suicide, these are the people they'll post, oh, that's so sad, I'm sending my thoughts and prayers. They might post the suicide hotline on social media. All of a sudden, one of our their most famous athletes has the courage to say that she needs to take time for mental health and people are taking the exact opposite attitude. So you're calling someone a quitter for admitting to something very difficult and getting help, but then you express thoughts and prayers if a celebrity dies by suicide? Come on, okay? There's the, you know, people who haven't had mental health problems before, it's easy to, you know, to judge and they say, oh, people fake mental health or depression or anxiety. Nobody fakes having a mental health problem. People fake being fine, especially when they think others don't care. People do it all the time on a state, in their everyday lives, not in a public stage. It's when people call in sick to work because they're going through something. And let's just get this straight. You know, Simone is already the GOAT, which means greatest of all time. She's won 25 world medals, 19 gold medals. This is more than anyone. And one of the times she won this medal, a gold, she was passing a kidney stone. Instead of staying at the hospital, she actually went and performed and nailed it. So Simone has nothing to be ashamed of. If anything, the U.S. Olympic Committee, which allowed Larry Nassar to abuse our athletes, this is common knowledge that Simone and other gymnasts, at least dozens of gymnasts, many of them who won medals for us in 2012 and 2016, were abused by Nassar. And after the U.S. Olympic Committee found out in 2015, they let him continue this for at least another year, they decided to keep it secret. So Simone won all of these medals in the past, competing for the US Olympic Committee while they let her and dozens of our gymnasts down. So what she's done so far is extraordinary, right? There's nothing more to prove. And she doesn't have to give us anything more. The memories she's given, the people she's entertained, People are more than their productivity, and a society that only values people by how productive they can be, what they can do, that's not a society, that's not something I want to be a part of. And by the way, for molesting all of those young women, and how many, some of those, those young girls who are now women say that he ruined their lives, Nassar only got 147 years in prison. My mom's like, only 147 years? And what I think the injustice is, is that those people in power in the U.S. Olympic Committee who let down our gymnasts, they got to resign without facing any criminal punishment. Anybody who looks the other way and endangers our children and young people shouldn't get away with it scot-free. So, in my opinion, Simone doesn't have anything to be ashamed of. The people who resigned in disgrace and didn't face the consequences of their actions for allowing our gymnasts who made us proud and who represented us under tremendous pressure, they're the ones who have something to be ashamed of. And I want to I wanted to print this quote, but my printer isn't working because I don't want to butcher Simone's words. This is what Simone said of her leaving the Olympics. She said, put mental health first, because if you don't, then you're not going to enjoy your sport and you're not going to succeed as much as you want to. So it's okay sometimes to even sit out the big competitions to focus on yourself because it shows how strong of a competitor you are. It shows how, see, it shows how strong of a competitor and person that you really are rather than just battle through it. And she's 100% right. So we know a lot of people who are struggling and they haven't sought help. Simone 
is a courageous example. Uh, you know, she not only sought help, which isn't in of itself courageous, but she was forced to do it on a public stage. So apparently there was an announcement that she will perform in one event tomorrow, the individual beam, and it's at 4.50 a.m. Eastern Time, Tuesday, August 3rd. So I've actually never done this before, woken up super early or planned my schedule to watch an athlete. And that just tells you how iconic she is, right? Because the iconic athletes, those few athletes in every sport who transcend the sport, that elite party that she's part of, they bring people to the sport who aren't naturally interested in that. I'm not a gymnastics person, but the way she has performed over the years, she she does things that are superhuman and she inspires people all over the world. And that, you know, and it doesn't matter whether she's winning or not. Whatever happens tomorrow, we appreciate the GOAT. I hope, you know, I don't know if there's an audience because of the pandemic, but if there's there tomorrow, I hope they give her a standing ovation. I hope she is safe. She's feeling safe physically, mentally, whatever. She's apparently not going to do the twisties, which is dangerous when you're not feeling 100%. So I support Simone. Let's support Simone. And let's support the people in our lives who may be struggling. Let's ask people how they're doing. Let's mean it. And if we're going to say after a celebrity suicide, oh, that's so sad, and post hearts on our timeline and the suicide hotline, let's not ridicule people who have the courage to ask for help and the courage to admit that they need it. And in the future, let's try to stop institutional failures where we're failing our young people and our children who are subject to predators like Larry Nassar. That's why I get that book. I did that book review on I Can Play It Safe. It's a book for parents to read to children at a young age so that children have a vocabulary to understand this stuff, an age-appropriate vocabulary, so that they can ask their parents for help if something is happening. Now, I'll post a link to that video in the comments, but it's on us as a society to do that, right? And, you know, whatever happens tomorrow, we... Simone fans, we support her regardless. She's done everything you could possibly do, and she did it when she was still let down by the U.S. Olympic Committee and the institutions that should have protected her. She performed at the highest level for years and years. I'm going to watch tomorrow because, uh, well, I, I just want to, like, first, I want to support her. She's had this tremendous courage. And second, it could be the last time she performs ever. So I don't want to miss that significant moment in, in sports history or just history because she's transcended sports. She's transcended gymnastics. So Simone Biles is history. Um, if you know people who are struggling, and, and there may be people in your life who are struggling and you don't know it, but if they watch our language, right? So we use language that isn't supportive then the people in our lives who are struggling know they can't turn to us and we don't want that so anyway uh i support simone no matter what i'm gonna watch tomorrow i have to sleep early it's the first time i've ever formed my schedule around uh and to wake up this early for an athletic event so hope everyone's doing well um yeah good night i forgot to say one more thing that's how tired I am, right? So if you found this video helpful, please give it a like, a thumbs up, or share it on social media, Facebook, Twitter, whatever. And, um, and take care of yourselves, everyone.